and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic on what we call Boxing Day in the UK, December the 26th. I believe it's not even a bank holiday in the US, but I hope it is if you are celebrating it wherever you are. Um, we are still doing a video every day and I loved some of, some of the action on Twitter lately. It's been brilliant. You should follow us on Twitter if you don't already because there are some, some amusing things. This was... Um, Adam Gaffney, clearly, he says, so this is Christmas at Cryptic Cracking, big box of celebrations and me and Simon on the TV trying to defuse a bomb as we were streaming, keep talking and nobody explodes, uh, which was great fun. It was such great fun that Michael Gaunt created, that's not the one, hang on, created this um, video, a video short, 59 seconds of us at the climactic moment of defusing the hardest bomb we tackled. Um, I might, I tell you what, I might play that at the end of the video. I, you know me, I might not be able to make the sound work so you can hear it or something, but I'll, I'll give it a go. Instead of an outro this time, I'll put that on and you can watch the, the 59 seconds of uh, exciting fun, perhaps. Um, I'll give it a try anyway. We'll see how it works. Now, uh, this was another brilliant tweet that came in. I can't believe this. Merry Christmas, says Ian. I'd just like to share this drawing my partner gave me for Christmas. Hope you have a good one. And, I mean, it's cracking the triptych, it says on it. And it's a picture of me and Simon with a dinosaur with two party hats. A reference you'll recognise if you uh, try the gas puzzles and try and beat the times in those. And that is incredibly clever, um, really impressive, um, just fantastic idea. Then, oh no, that was the previous one. So what else have we got? So what's been going on on, on the channel, on the Discord server, in fact, is a Secret Santa. And the way the Secret Santa works is a number of setters, quite a large number of setters, get invited to participate in Secret Santa and they can choose to do so. And what you end up doing is creating a puzzle for somebody and they don't know who's sending them the puzzle. That is, of course, the Secret Santa um, aspect. You know a bit about them from facts they've submitted, what sort of puzzles they like can help you guide um, how you set a puzzle for them. And then you get... I think it's on Christmas Eve, it gets sent out, you get a puzzle from your Santa. Uh, Priyam Bouchan organises this all and, and achieves it, and she is just a tornado of effort and application and organisation, and we are very grateful to her for doing that. Um, I participate in this, Simon doesn't really, so um, what I'm going to do today is try and solve the puzzle I've been sent. Now, there is a chance that this isn't really video worthy and this won't make a video. That's possible. There's also a chance that because I'm recording this on Christmas Day, after eating my Christmas lunch, I will lapse into a food coma and fall asleep at the wheel. Um, and then it won't be a video either. It'll be all a shame, given that setup that we went through, uh, if that happens. Oh, I'm also going to mention the puzzle pyramid, which is here. Um, this is the this is on Patreon. So there's still six days left to enter that, but if you haven't begun it, get going because there's a lot to do. We we got one wrong answer sent in today. I mean, we've had a, a few right answers and very well done to anybody who's done that. The wrong answer I'm going to disclose was 11. That is not the correct answer. Anyway, um, this is the puzzle I got sent and it's worth looking at it here because, let's just magnify that a bit, because uh, this is... The original artwork and we're not going to solve it like that because I can't get squares partly coloured in our software um, but I have tried to replicate the brilliant tree with the lines and the baubles and a version of the star and this is how it comes out there we go so this is an Xmas sums with a difference by Secret Santa now I don't know who it's come from in a few days if this becomes a video I will change the description field to say who it's actually by because I hope I will find out um, and we will see but for now I have no idea who it's by well I don't know we'll see I have one or two ideas 
It's called Xmas Sums with a Difference, and I will go through the rules now. So, normal Sudoku rules apply. Now, I said I liked X Sums puzzles, and I love the fact that this has been created. Look at the top row, 25, 12, 2021. That's Christmas Day. I'm solving it on 25, 12, 2021 although the video will come out on Boxing Day, so there we go. Now, a clue outside the grid, so this 21, say, shows the sum of the first X digits along that row or column where X is the first such digit. So if this was a 4, these 4 add up to 21. Um, that's how it works. That must work for all these numbers that are given outside the grid. Digits on a bauble or star, i.e. any of the circles, contain the difference between the sum of all the digits on one of the attached line lines and the sum of all the digits on the other. So this circle is the difference between that cell and that cell. But this circle is the difference between the value here and the sum of those two. Uh, I've never used a rule like that. It's a strange sort of arrow rule. I guess on this one, that's the difference between those, the sum of those four and the sum of those three. Uh, so... Hence the lovely punning title, Xmas Sums with a Difference. Now, the, the clues I have about who might have set this, I don't know. I mean, I could be wrong about this. One of the things was, in the original instructions, it talked about the first N digits along the row or column, where N is the first such digit, which I find a bit odd. The puzzle is called X Sums because you're meant to use X in that sentence, I think. Um, and I've changed it to X for these rules. But... The last person I saw who did use N was Clover in an X sum puzzles that Simon did recently. So it could be from Clover. Also, uh, no, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I haven't got an also. Yes, I have got an also. We changed the title to be Xmas sums of Clover's puzzle, I think. And she had called it X sums originally. So maybe this is called Xmas Sums as a reference to that. I don't know. That could be nonsense. What I did also notice was Bauble was spelt E-L at the end in the original artwork. And that would strike me more as someone who is more used to a Germanic language or Dutch or something. So I don't know. I haven't really got a clue, to be honest. I hope I'll find out. Well, I hope I'll find out. Yeah, one way or the other, I hope I'll find out. So I'm going to give it a go. Do try it on the link under the video. If you're watching this video, it's a decent puzzle. Um, and you will be able to judge how hard it is. I have no idea at all, obviously. So let's give it a try. Let's get cracking. And yeah, I like to kind of fill in the possibilities. So this 39, that means that the numbers outside the sum at the end of the column add up to six. Now that could be one, two, three, two numbers or one. So that is six, seven, or eight. This 10 is two, three, or four. 35 could be five cells with a five. Um, it can't be eight, though, because that would leave two cells to add up to 10. I am using the secret here, which is that each row and column adds up to 45, because that's what one to nine always does. Bear that in mind. Um, now, 38 here, those could be 1, 2, 4. So again, I think that's 6, 7, or 8. Ah, 6 here can only be 2 or 3. That's better. Can't be a 1, because you'd only be adding one cell. 12. 12 can't be 2, because that would need a 10 next to it. So 12 is 3 or 4. Um, 18 can't be... Can it be five? Yes, it could bother. Three, four, or five. 23 can't be a three, although you can get to 23 in three digits. They don't include the number three, the X. So that is a four, five, or six. Now, 20 can't be a six because uh, six digits have to add up to at least 21. So that is three, four, or five. 21 can't be a 3, because the next two digits would have to add up to 18. So that's 4, 5, or 6. This must be 4, 5, or 6 as well. Can't be a 7, because they'd add up to 28. Okay, that's lovely. 
look what that does for us. That gives us a three, four, five, six quad in the top row. Now, I don't know what that does for us. Um, it doesn't tell me where six goes or three goes. I'm not going to bother to fill in one, two, seven, eight, nine as the possibilities there, because I don't see that that helps. It's just going to clog up the grid. Um, ah, these are on the same row. Yes, that's good. Right, again, the row must add up to 45. The sums from each end add up to 41 here. So they don't overlap. They must indeed underlap. And there's a gap that adds up to four. Now that could be one cell or two cells. And that means these two add up to seven or eight. Because if there's a two cell gap, the cells being counted here by the X's are seven cells. So they either add up to seven. If there's a one cell gap, then there's eight cells. So they add up to seven or eight. There can't be two fours. You can't have a six here. You can't have a four here, because that would put a five here. And you can't have a five for the same reason. That is a three. And now, yeah, the, 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 the underlap can't be made up of three one, because of the three that's already there. So it's one cell, which is here, which is four. And that fixes that as a three. This is now a five. Right, these three add up to 18, so that pair adds up to 16 in some way. I'm just going to colour the distances. Let's not use yellow. Uh, blue. So those five add up to 23. Ah, this has become a two. That's straightforward. So now that's a four. We can know the length of that clue. Oh, this has changed. That can't be one, two, four anymore, so it's not a six. If it's a seven, this is a one, six pair. If it's an eight, that's a seven. So that's one, six or seven either way. Doesn't really help. Oh, this three. Um, I don't know what color to use from the top. Let's use green. Those three add up to 12. So... This pair adds up to 9. It's not 3, 6 or 4, 5. It's 1, 8 or 2, 7. Oh, that can't be a 3 because of the old thingy. The old quadruple. We've now got a triple. That can't be a 4 because of this 4. Ah, it can't be a 6 now. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, if it was a 6, these would have to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And they can't be. If that's a 6... This is going to be 7, 8, or 9. So that's now a 5, and that clears up the whole of the... Uh, if I press the right buttons, that clears up the whole of this top row thing. Now I can colour these. Six green cells there, four green cells here, five here. I know all the hanging tinsel here. This has changed. That can't be a 6, because these three would have to add up to 45 minus 39, and they can't add up to 6 anymore. If it was an 8, that would be a 6, which would clash with that. So we've solved that one. That's a 7. Yeah, I might as well make these green. There's no clash. Um, don't know anything about this one yet. Or this. This hasn't really changed. It could still be 5 cells. Ah, let's use the bauble rule. I haven't thought of that. The 3 there is the difference between those two. So this is one or seven. Oh, this seven. We know what this is, don't we? Oh, so silly. Right, that's a two because the outies add up to six. So that's not two seven. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a one eight pair. This becomes a seven. That's not seven eight. Oh, I love this. This is so neat. One of those is a two. These are from one, two, eight and must include a two as well. That's a naked single nine, I think. Three, two, four, five, six in the top row, seven, one, eight in the box. And this is a five, six pair. Now, what else have we got? Ah, look, we've got one, two, seven, and eight to place. Those can't be twos. 
but that's giving us, that's for the box three. That's giving us a one, two, seven, eight quad in this row. So this is three, four, nine. I could probably have spotted that some other way. Seven's up in one of those two. Um, oh, okay, here's, is this a way to look at it? I don't, th I mean, until you get one number on these lines or baubles, definitely, they just don't seem all that useful. So, I mean, I suppose this can't be high now. This can't be as much as six. That's true, actually. That's one, three, or five, because of this being five or six, which is a quite middly number. If that was a six, you couldn't make the difference between those work. Um, oh, this might help. Let's, yes, the, the way I was going to look at it, which I completely forgot having thought of it, is to add up the total of these nine cells, which must add up to 41, 20, 21 up here. Right, and we know a lot of the candidates. We know that that's four, five, six, nine, so they add up to 24, and we know that one, 28. We also know there's a two in these two, so that's 30. And we're going for a total of 41. So the other three cells, one from here and these two, add up to 11. And that means that we can't have an 8 here because that would have to be a 1-2 pair, which would clash with that. So that's not an 8. If there was a 7 here, this would be a 1-3 pair. And if there was a 1 to go with the 2, these would add up to 10. Oh, and there'd be... Well, they couldn't be even. They would be one nine or three seven. So this can't be a five. Uh, it hasn't resolved these. The three or one difference. There's still quite a lot of possibilities there, up or down. Oh, maybe we can make something of the individual totals. Let's try this. If that was a nine, We'd already be up to 18. This would have to be 2 and 1. Um, if it was a 6, 15, these would add up to 6. I don't think that can work. Let's just try it. If this was a 9, yeah, that also just doesn't work. If, those added, if this was a 9, that would be 13. We'd need to make 7 here, and that doesn't work. So... This is not a nine and that's not a six. That fits very nicely together. Six and nine, that's really neat actually as a, as a setter. So these two add up to 10 and that must be seven and three. We know where the two goes now. We can add all these up and check our maths. 14, 16, 20, that's a one and that's not. These don't have a seven in, it's a one eight pair. Ah, oh, this one has changed now. If this was a seven, this was going to have to be a pair that adds up to seven, but one, two, three, and four are all gone. So that's an eight, and this is a seven. Oh, I could color this blue as well for the length. doesn't really matter. I'm not going to be adding those up. Once there's a seven there, I know this row works. Um, eight, eight is actually here because it can't be in that cell. So we can fill in eight. This is a naked single six, and then we've got a five, nine pair. Right, so now we might be able to do this. Six is the difference between eight. Well, these can't add up to two, so they add up to 14. So that's a five, nine pair. That's lovely. So we get one, two, three, four as the remainder of the row. That's not a three. Ah, oh, I haven't really thought about this central column. If that's a three, this lot adds up to 42. That can be still even or odd. Oh, that works fine. And oh, that's very irritating. Right, but it adds up to 42. So if this is a 4, take 4 out of that, then these add up to 38 with a difference of 4, which is 34 divided by 2, 17 and 21. So this set would add up to 17 or 21. Oh, there's got to be a seven in them. Oh, well, that gets interesting. Right. Um, to add up to 17, 
they would this is if this is a four they would need another one that's impossible to add up to 21 they would need another five so that is possible if this was a two five seven these add up to 40 with a difference of two which makes them obviously 21 and 19 so that can be 19 again it can't be 21 or that would be double seven no, that's that's bad maths. No, this is 21. To be 19, 8, 15, 16, we'd need a 3 here. We can't have that because of this. And can this be a 1? Sorry, I'm not being very clear. I'm trying to work out what these two lines have to be for each value here. If it's a 4, that's a 5, 7 pair. I've worked that out. If it's a 2... I think that's a 5-7 pair again. It's still possible. If it's a 1 now, we take 4 off 45. This set adds up to 41 with a difference of 1. They're 20 and 21. This can be 21 again with the 5-7 pair, or it could be 20, in which case that's a 4. Oh, and that's rather spoilt the game. Oh, there's a 1-8 pair. So this is not a 1. I'm so sorry. Right. That's good. Five, seven there is definite. That makes this a nine. But this is still undecided between two and four, which is weird. Okay, let's have a look down here. We've got a one, two, nine triple. We've got a three, seven, eight triple. Um, doesn't, oh, this can't be seven just by Sudoku now. Right, if this was a five, that would be a nine. That would have to be the seven. You'd have a 6 here and an 8 here, and it is all possible. If it's a 6, they add up to 10. Hmm, that's possible too. Do I need to work on this bauble? 5 there. Yeah, that could be a 7, and that could be a 9, 3, or... Mm, doesn't work with an eight there. What about six here? Yeah, then it's one eight. No, there are there are possibilities. I, I'm not wasting time on that yet. These are from two, four, six, and nine, and they definitely include six and nine. Oh, what's this? Oh, come on, three there. So it's either three less than five or six, which would be two or three, impossible or it's three more, which would be eight or nine, and nine's impossible. So that's an eight, that's a five, we get a six here. Now, this could be doable. Eight, three, four, two, six. One, five, seven, or nine. Clearly can't be a nine anyway, and it can't be a seven once that's a six. So if it's a five, that's a one. If it's a one, that's a five. So that's a one, five pair. That's brilliant, and that gives us seven and five here. And in fact, the five there gives us one and five in the bauble. Um, oh, that's really, it's a very clever puzzle. This is a video I'm delighted to say now. Six goes there by elimination. That can't be one. This is two, three, or four. Oh, that's become a nine, obviously. One, eight, three, two, nine, seven. That hasn't resolved this. We've got four, five, six as a triple. This is a one, three pair. Right, that fixes that this can't be five because now that couldn't be 35. You need high numbers all the way. So that's a six. Ah, and that's not only an X sum, but a bauble. So um, eight here would need this to add up to 14, which it cannot do. Yeah. Seven there would need this to add up to 13, which it cannot do. And now I'm getting worried. I think that has to be a three. And this adds up to nine, which it can actually still do in two ways. So that's good. Um, that's not a six. Now, yeah, let's think about this. These add up to 10 because of 45 minus 35. Now, they can't have two numbers from one, two, and three, or they would break. If you had two numbers there from one, two, and three, and two there, that's too many. So they must include two higher numbers, which must be four and five. 
That's a 451 triple. We can write in 3 and 2. Ooh, not 2 there. Uh, 2 there. And this must be known now. It's a 7. Yeah, that bauble has worked. Those don't include a 2. This doesn't include a 2 or a 4. That's a 9. This is an 8. Just this just doesn't really matter. It takes nine out of those cells. Oh, that's not a three. That's not a three either. So that's a two, four, six. This has become a seven. Actually, I've known that's a seven for ages. Did I just I probably just crossed that out by accident? This is a five, which fixes four and five. That's not a four now. That's not a one. So box nine is done. Um Ah, oh, this is lovely. This is such a clever puzzle. Now, still haven't done that. Oh, this 10. That's obviously a 2. Right. Uh, so that's fixed the whole of box 8. Still not used to my buttons. They can't have a 2 in. Doesn't actually say what they are. I've still got baubles to do here. 2, 7, and 8 in these cells. That one can't be 8. 3, 6, 9 down here. That one can't be six. Uh, which bauble shall I look at? This one, maybe. Or do I look at this? Actually, yes. If they add up to 25, these add up to 20. Yeah, bingo. That can't be a three. Because it can't have nine, eight with it. This can't be a two. Um, oh, are there any possibilities? Yeah, yes, nine, seven, four. That's how it works. Oh, that's good. Right, four comes out of there. Six, five, seven, four, nine, one, eight. That's two or three. Ooh, these are all small numbers. That's not very useful, actually. Let's take four out of that. What about this one? That can't be a... In fact, this two, seven, eight triple's all done. Right, I must be able to do... Well, unless this is one of those commutative things. Eight minus... Eight take, taken from nine would make that a one. But if this was a 5, that doesn't work. OK, that's good. It's not commutative there. We get a 1 there. 9 as a pair there. Um, 9, 4, 7. That's not a 9, so it's a 3. Yes, that makes this a 2. The whole column's done. 1, 8 there. 2 there. That 8 is going to fix my 1, 8 pairs. And almost all of boxes... Actually, maybe all of box well rows five to columns five to nine are all done. That's now a one seven pair at the top. I can do that. I'm probably going to fall into this bauble in the end um, by accident. Maybe not two five six eight one nine. That can't be one or two. I've got three four and seven to go right. Two different from four or five. Well, that can't be a three, because two is not different from four by three. Actually, that's making me worry it's not going to work. Yes, it is. Four there, three there, five minus two is three. That's the last bauble. Done all the X sums. We've just got a tiny bit of Sudoku pairs to finish off. This is a very nice puzzle. Exactly the sort I like. My secret Santa knows me incredibly well, and... Uh, I suppose my secret Santa has the advantage of getting to see what I like regularly. <laughs> um, but nonetheless, they have absolutely nailed it. I will be very interested to find out who they are. That's a great puzzle. Uh, I hope you had a go at it. Merry Christmas. Oh, no, wait. I was going to play out with um, this Michael Gaunt video. I hope you'll be able to hear this. I'm not sure I'll be able to, even if you are, but let's let's give it a go. Let's bring it in, see if we can play it, and I will say goodbye for now. Well done to my secret Santa. Hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now, and enjoy. What, where, white where's dot, white? Row two, column six, and row five, column two. That's awful. Right, down, yeah. left, down, left, left, down, right, right, down, all the way left, up to right, down. Okay, done that. Last nice password game. Yeah. Um, the password. B, C, K, Z, D, A. We need to guess it. 
Um, guess again. Yes! No! You are joking me. <laughs> we got it one, one second to go. <laughs> one second, and it was again. <laughs> it was again, yeah. There were five possible <laughs> options from those. <laughs> well, you get 20% chance. Game, and it was, it was correct. And we, oh that my. is unbelievable. Oh, that's so ridiculous.